Once again, welcome Salem School family. This is a day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I get privileged to talk about a really special subject today in this devotion and next Sunday in church, and that's what life will be like in heaven for us. Uh, right now, we're in the midst of trouble and sorrow, suffering, sickness, sin, Satan. All those uh, bad things are part of life on earth. And none of that enters heaven, though. We get to go into heaven as God's pure and perfect people, but sin and sorrow and suffering and Satan all get locked out. We become glorified, radiant, beaming with joy and love and perfect peace, and we'll be with Jesus. So this is Saints Triumphant Sunday coming up this next week, and uh, our Lord gives us that promise of salvation through Him. Remember. We don't get into heaven on our own. It's all Jesus and what he did for us. And the Bible pictures heaven for us in different ways. Here in the book of Daniel describes the great resurrection day when everyone comes out of their graves, multitudes will live again. All those who have died from the beginning of the world to the end of the world will all come out of their graves. But some won't live to enjoy life. They'll live to be separated from God forever. That's in a place called hell. So think of that as opposite of heaven and uh, nothing good there in hell. But those who trust in Jesus, the Savior who came into the world and suffered and died for them, for us, is the Savior who will bring us home to heaven, where we will shine like lights and see our Savior's splendor and glory and majesty forever and bask in his grace and love forever. Uh, heaven is a wonderful home. Heaven is a beautiful home. Heaven is our permanent home. We'll be there forever with our Lord. Saints triumphant, meaning that the war is over, the battle is done, the struggle, the strife of this life will all have come to an end and we'll be in the perfect peace and joy of being with Jesus forever. Um, that day will be wonderful for us and we will rejoice in Jesus' love forever. Here's the reading from Daniel chapter 12. It's verses one through three. At that time, Michael, the great prince who protects your people will arise. There will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of, beginning of nations until then. But at that time, your people, everyone whose name is found written in the book will be delivered. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for entering our world and suffering for our sins when you died on the cross. Thank you for arising from your grave and ascending to heaven to prepare a place for us. You have pictured in your word the beauty and glory of heaven. We can only imagine what that will be like we trust you for it, and we look forward to it in humble faith and in devotion and love. We await that day when we will be saints triumphant out of the troubles and problems of this life and home with you forever, where there will be perfect peace and joy and love forever with you, our loving and living Savior. Amen.